Jerome Wright here and um, once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube in this video I'm going to be um, showing you some very interesting things about Leonardo da Vinci supposed invention the siege machine and um, the reason why I say supposed invention is because after I'm done with this video <coughs> Hopefully you will agree with me that this machine, our supposed machine, is an impractical device. It makes absolutely no sense for a genius mind like Leonardo to, um, to envision to be utilized in the field of that of battle. Uh, not just I'm gonna I'm just gonna point out some obvious and logical things about this first before I get into describing what this machine is actually um, insinuating in this drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, First of all, let's assume that such a, a device or invention were utilized in the field of, um, of war against any given scenario. Um, we all know that first of all, first and foremost, that it would be very unlikely that a creator or designer of such a device would be able to assume or have height based on this device opening up and going onto a castle wall of a castle that we're that they're going to allegedly get to. From for the most part, when I like to think of castles. I like to think of an uneven and um, and a gauntlet-like landscape, which would prevent or prevail such a device from even getting up close enough to the wall. Um, then the height of the wall. I mean, you would actually have to know exactly where this device was going to be set up at, at which wall it was going to be set up, and the exact height. And getting there the device in itself it just seems impractical now let's talk about the device getting there and I'm, I'm you know I mean that's just one thing with the height that's that's one thing that that makes this device seems impractical and then just the terrain from which this device has to go to to get up to the wall it's just it's, it's impractical it's not logical at all okay now let's go with this device being transported in the upright position. Again, you're looking at the longer part of this elevation, which would make this device top heavy, okay? And going down, being pulled down, would, I mean, it, it, it just didn't make no sense. Going through trees or going through anywhere, having this device elevated back to its upright position, you will be talking, if you have a wall that will be 10 to 15 feet, high okay on a castle just assuming i'm just i'm just i'm just i'm just theorizing so now you have this device at 10 feet. so you're talking about a device maybe 30 feet maybe even higher up in the air being pulled down the terrain from where it was created at to here so you're saying well maybe it was wrong in two parts well we can maybe this that and a third and all but the device just seems impractical to um to be taken out onto a battlefield you come out better to have ladders with such a device i mean with created right there on this on location now again the, the device could be assembled or whatever taken apart and assembled on the spot and then pushed up to the wall but then and again we still have this thing this scenario where the device is impractical because we would like to think that no castles surrounding terrain or landscape will permit such a device to to square up with the castle wall as it is being described here it just doesn't seem practical all right um now i'm gonna leave you with that thought so what is this device what is da vinci this designing one well it's my position that leonardo da vinci has created this device or the drawing with this device in it and he's calling it a seize machine based on what we see here 
See, it's my position that Leonardo da Vinci, I've linked him to um, an ancient um, like process, which actually calls for the genetic alter and genetic being of mankind. And see, I know that it involves animals and creatures that calls for our genetic altering and, all, and being. And it involves kingships and queenships and variant animals. Well, along with um, also, let me include ancient rooted um, religion, okay, and, it, and animals. And it describes how we were genetically bridged over. So I'm describing this here part as being a bridge, a genetic bridge that allows what is described here as a genetic gateway, a genetic bridge to go and genetically alter ancient rooted genetics, which are here, procured here in ancient rooted kingship and queenship royalty. So what is being described as being altered? Well, Da Vinci leaves this part of the machine open and you're looking at the devices and all of that in there, the, 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 the cranks and all of that. But if you look closely, there's a cow-like creature here. And there's other things that I actually see that signifies to me. Not just a cow, though. If you look here on, the, um, on, that, on that creature's back, there's a face, a black face, a witch-like woman's face. There's her chin, her mouth, her nose, her forehead, and her eye. I dub her as the mother of creation. Wherever there, the Madonna, the Medusa, um, the Virgin, she's all of that in one. There's her chin there, her mouth, her nose, her cheek, her right cheek, her, her right eye, and her forehead. This female calls for the genetic being of mankind existence. It shows these genetics being created. Now, for those of you that want to see what I see, there's also right in here, chin, mouth, open mouth, shows a genetic mutation of these genetics, which were created, showing you created, and then injected into that of our ancient rooted royalty. And that's what this is actually de describing as being a seize machine genetics that sees another genetic now i'm going to go into something else with this so spare with me because it actually gets very interesting i have tied another drawing to this because you see people this is not an original idea or an original invention of that of leonardo da vinci then i found some other artwork from i believe it's the 10th century i mean um um, um that the year um, um yeah i guess it would be considered it the 10th century it's 10 10 something here Oh, let me see where we're at. From that of 10, um, uh, 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 it's a painting. I believe it's 1095. Okay, 1095. All right, 1095. So we're going to talk about that in a minute and all. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something about um, what was going on here with Leonardo da Vinci. So <clears throat> the next time you look at this image, look at that. Now, the cow or that image of the cow, that portrayal of that animal, the head of that animal. So you're saying, well, maybe that animal was used to be on the inside to drive that machine there. Well, I can't see that animal depicted on the inside being there. If that animal was to be doing anything, that animal would be attached to the outside and we'd be pulling that machine there, not lying down on the inside as implying. I mean, people, you have, if you want to see them, there's one, two, Three, there's other images in there. Four, there are multiple dimensional images within here that shows you a cauldron, a genetic cult, a cult, um, cocktail of genes <clears throat> that were manipulated in a cauldron-like way, a witch's kettle, and that's why the face of the witch is there, by the way, people. We all know that image. A witch's brew, and now being injected into that of ancient rooted. Um, um, royalty where these genes are, are actually um, are protected and actually being manipulated being bridged over now I always like to say that royalty and ancient rooted religion through 
celibacy or um or that's that's just ancient rooted religion not not kingships and queenship they protect their bloodlines and ancient rooted religion through celibacy they protect their bloodlines you see what i'm saying people these are also the same people that you can't get no dna from they have their own medical practices in place secrecy everything is sealed so my position is because of this reason here all right now i want to tell you something else about the seize machine this seize machine i'm drawn by the way people i'm drawn to this through my paranormal experience and encounter which allows me to deal uh, come on to you in this way about this device and look at it in a way that nobody else has ever looked at it before okay um I want to tell you something else about what is going on here with this as well too now these wheels can be looked at in several different ways I look I see five wheel uh, practically five wheels now we would assume that there would be a six wheel on the other side for the simple fact that there's two back here and we would like to think that there's um, two four six wheels but I only see one wheel, so we can count them as five as well. Okay, but nevertheless, nevertheless, assuming that Leonardo da Vinci put two wheels at the front, which we do not see because this could theoretically be going into a point and it could only be one wheel there, which would then make this only five wheels. All right, so let's just assume that there's six wheels there just for sake of argument. Regardless of all of that, how many wheels are there? It's the shape, the dimensional shape that he utilizes. We can actually look at this as being a hexagon shape or a pentagon shape with a diamond. Okay, now, which is also amazing. Now, I just went up here again. Now, hold on. I'm going to show you something because I went up there when I go went up there to go look the same face that is here the black witch like woman's face I'll dub as the mother of creation which is here I'm now seeing her up here I wonder if you can see that you google the image I'm seeing her chin right here her mouth her nose her left eye and her right eye and guess what's in the center of her forehead there's a cross right here chin open mouth a nose the right eye the left eye and there's a cross at the center of her head now i'm the first person ever to describe the cross as meaning the cross referencing of mankind's genetics and animal kind genetics the first person ever if you ask anybody in religion i don't care whether it's ancient rooted religion or modern day religion they say that the cross is just a given Here's the image of the cross right here in Da Vinci's seize machine in the center of the forehead of that of a witch-like woman who I dub as the mother of creation. She's here, down here in the darkness, and she's up here. So how can I do that, people? How can I do that? Now, we have these dimensional shapes. It's my position that these dimensional shapes are equivalent to a form of measurement mathematical measurement that mathematical measurement is an equation that shows the chemistry that was created to create these to create these genetics which were sent into ancient rooted um, um, royalty all right now i said that this is not da vinci's original idea well it is not it's amazing that he got, has gotten credit for that and no one else has realized that but me. In this book right here, while I'm waiting in line at my favorite frequent store all the time, and I had this book for some time now. This is a, a 628 edition, so I had this, this book since it came out. While waiting in line at my fa favorite frequently frequented store, Walmart, in my town, I gripped this book up and started looking at it. Now, there was another reason why I picked this book up, but I didn't realize that for the almost 
How much did I pay for this book? I paid twelve ninety nine for this book, Dale. Well, that's the best twelve ninety nine that I ever spent because I have gotten two amazing discoveries out of there, and I'm sure that it's it's because it's the gift that keeps giving. I'm sure that I'm going to get more, okay? And that's what Pope Francis did. Well, here I'm going to bring up an image, a closer image. Here, on page. Uh, what, what edition is this? So you don't know. Let me see what edition we have here. Um, this I don't. See, it's the Life magazine, and I don't see no edition on here. Uh, it just says display until six twenty eight thirteen. So that's when it ha would have to be pulled off the shelves. Um, it just says the Saint Francis. It's the Saint Francis edition, it's, and it says the Victor of Christ from Saint Peter to today okay and this is I guess commemorating Pope Francis okay so we can go get that book and you guys can go in there and look at it okay so this is where I'm getting my source of information from at this point okay from here now here's in that book on page 46 there is this battle this between Christians and and um and muslims okay and this thing is dated according to this painting as being 1095 there's one date there 1095 and let me see there's another yeah and there's another date there um 1088 okay so um there is writing up on the top of the painting i don't know whether it's latin or whatever okay but i have i'm going to bring this image up larger and i'm going to show you something because this device is shown in, let me see how many parts, one, two, three, four parts in a battle, which I'm assuming that Leonardo da Vinci in his time, because he came from the 14th century area, era, that this machine and this idea, the concept of this machine was already in place. And I've connected this painting also to that of genetic manipulation and genetic bridging and the devices therein suggesting the same thing about genetic bridging as I just described there. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to bring the image up so I can show you. So you can see what I see. And see people, that's the best thing about my discoveries. And the best thing about my discoveries are that they are all self i see other things there too i'm wondering if you i see other things there now that i then reduce the resolution of that but i'm going to keep going and i'm going to go to well, i have to get ready to cover some things up here because i think i have um where are we at here uh, i'm going to go into my mailbox and i want to cover things up here. Let me close out of here. And where are we at? Okay. Now before I do that, let me let me go here before I go into my mailbox. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you some things here before I go into my mailbox. Let me show you something. Now that cow that is laying in the in the um in the seas machine there, Leonardo da Vinci, that cow. That image with royalty has always been there. This is the similar way that that cow creature is laying in da Vinci's seas machine. And you know the castle, right? Which represents royalty. Now, look at this guy wearing the crown. Now, Re, re, you know what this is stating? That this creature calls for not just genetic change in itself, but an ancient rooted royalty through a genetic bridging. So you're saying that why is a cow involved in all of this? Well, people, it all this this ancient rooted religion and, and genetic bridging with royalty and all of that, it is all describing how genetically these ancient rooted entities 
feathered themselves genetically from their ape and African ancestor. All right. So let me click out of that. And I want to show you another picture of that before I continue on. Here, there is a cow beside the little boy wearing a prince's crown. It even look like it's got a royal bracelet on its leg. Okay, now hold on people. Let's do this again. Um, do we have another cow up here? Let me see if I can find this another cow. I thought I downloaded about two or three of them. All right, I guess I'm going to have to. All right, I'm going to have to exit out of that because I don't see. I guess two showing you two. You get the point, right, people? Okay, I wanna, I'm going to exit out of that because I think you got the point. And, oh, no, I have one up here. Here it is here on a bag. There's another image there. So people, and let me go. Let me go up larger with that there. Let me go up larger with that. So you, I like giving you examples because it actually instills in your imagination why you see images like this: a cow wearing a royal crown, and it ties perfectly my message to that of why you see this cow laying in the bottom of Da Vinci C's machine. Um, let me let me click out and I'm gonna bring that image back up. And where's Da Vinci's C's machine? And I'm gonna go larger. Hold on. And we're gonna pause. So, not only is that there, though, there's other beings, and it shows that all of these, all of these, all of these, all of these um, creations here, which was created down here, and if you want to call it a pentagon or hexagon, because this is the shape of the bottom of this machine. So, what was created in this scenario, now in fertility in the triangle, there's an image of a female, a witch-like woman, the Medusa, the Madonna the mother of creation, the virgin, with the cross on her head, injecting the created genetics into that being bridged over with ancient rooted royalty. Now, let's get to that image that I promised you, the other image, because this is not da Vinci's original invention, so he can't be credited with this no more. So how can I take this from Leonardo da Vinci? You're talking about what is considered one of the greatest minds of our world. So how am I able to undo this history before your eyes? Okay, now, but I am, I am, I am, I am. All right, now, let me go into where um, Da Vinci got this idea from. All right, this is where we got to cover up some, some things here. I don't want people's names all up on there. And I'm going to go up in here. And we have it here. So I'm going to go to this one first. All right. Whoops. Can we get this? Well, save to drive. How come I can't? I want to review the thing, people. That's it. Okay. All right. Can I open it with something? Um, no, I guess I'm going to leave it up there like that. All right. You can see the image there. All right. I wonder if I can go larger. I don't believe that I can go larger with this at this point. All right. That image is the same one that I taken from the Life magazine. Right here. All right. The image is on page. What page did I say? On page... 46. All right. On page 46. And there it is. Now, bear with me, people. Da Vinci Siege Machine. Let me break this Siege Machine down for you. First of all, 
the same device can I bring that in closer or you know what I don't even think that you guys can even see that oh this sucks because you're getting the glare oh, oh gosh I don't think that we're going to get this people uh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get away with this like this uh, let me see something here because this is Da Vinci Siege Machine is there in three parts. I'm going to hold this up so you can actually see this. The latter part, the walk-up part, is right here. There's the Siege Machine, right there. Now, the, the triangle part that goes on top of the Siege Machine is right here in the tent. That goes up on top of there. It's implying the genetics. This tent is implying the genetics that is going on. This this entire image is showing us genetic bridging as well, too. You take this triangle shape here on the top of the tent, or take the whole entire tent because it is triangular in shape, put it up on top there. That's the second piece of Da Vinci's machine. That pivoting um, arm, that ladder, that pivoting ladder on Da Vinci's machine is right here. There's the pivoting device. I'm going to bring this in closer so you can see. There's the pivoting device right there, people. Right there. Okay. They're using it as a shield. So now we have, you see the shield. Da Vinci incorporated the concept of this into this device, which made his, um, um, his siege machine an armored-like device, a shielding device, as well as that as a ladder. Now, there's the pivoting right there. There's the axis for that pivoting right there. There's the triangular shape that goes there. Now, there's also the other shape, which I'm telling you, describing to you as the hexagon. And plus, on top of that, there's something else that's it's a fruit tile. Now, I forgot the daggone. I have to get that, 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 that name up. But there's a second device here, which is an enclosed armored vehicle right there that ties in all of the the concept of all of the, the, the what da vinci has into one into this device right here now that's called a a fruit that's a special shape let me see if i have it here um the shape that i came up with where are you at where are you at because it's a special shape design and why i don't have it written down in my notes escapes me ah it's a special shape and i didn't write it the hell down Oh, Jerome, you suck. All right. Well, I came up with the name of this device, and I'm going to look to make sure that I get... But anyway, let me show you what's happening here and see if you can see this. Let me, let me keep going. If you look into each column here in the smoke, you will see... The head of a king facing this way. And there's, by the way, people, there's a cross up here too. There's a cross there in the window. You see that, that cross up there? There's a face. If you come, this is splitting the faces. There's a female face, the mother of creation, facing this way. And there's a king face facing that way. And you're shown wearing a crown. And there's a cross at the top. Can you see that, people? Plain as day. Everything that Da Vinci has implied in his siege machine, it is all right here, taking from this 1095 image right here. Everything that is implied in Leonardo's Da Vinci siege machine is right there. He took and consolidated everything in this image and incorporated it into the concept of his siege machine. Now that shape on that one machine that is back here um like an armored car on the other side is the siege machine right here i want you to see that it has a special name and it begins with an f and it's a special shape and i don't have it here and it's killing me because i written it down and i thought that i actually had it but i guess i did not but it's called something a fruit a fruit a fruit towel or something like that there it's a special shape because it's actually a a like a square with a with like an octagon or, or, or what you call them shape on the front of it 
and our pentagon shape on the front of it. And I forgot what the name of this damn thing is. And it's killing me. Oh, gosh. But anyway, you guys get the picture. So, the bottom line is that Leonardo's Da Vinci, and I don't think that you can even see that now, so I'm going to take this down. Leonardo's Da Vinci's Seize Machine is not a, an original idea. Um, let me pull that Seize Machine back up. It's not a, an original idea. Um, hum, 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 hum. Let me see where we at. Go back in the pictures, and I'm going to pull this up. Leonardo's Da Vinci's Siege Machine is describing, pause, genetic bridging and genetic altering of mankind's being, which has an involvement with ancient rooted royalty and ancient rooted religion. And this is the reason why there's a cross there which re represents the cross-referencing of this cauldron-like chemistry of genetics down here with the genetics that are here. Cross-referencing of mankind and animal genes. And this is what this is about. To further us further away, well, further them further away from that of our ape and African Asian ancestors. Everything that came before is being changed genetically now again people time magazine page 46 the edition with pope francis on it you go to page 46 and all in pieces along this battlefield between that of this ancient battle between christians and muslims you will see the same exact, all of the parts for Da Vinci's siege machine are right here on this field, separated across this wall. All of the parts and the concept, everything is right there. And that's in 1095. And the implications from each tower, and you'll see there's encryptions in here. This shows what genetic alterings took place. It's describing, this, this, this image is describing which genetics that the Christians invoked on the Muslims to genetically alter them. There's even in this smoke a queen shown with, from this guy here with this reptilian-like suit on down there, this green, where his staff is going up, showing you that the queen on this side, actually as if his penis is reaching all the way up, going into and bridging into her mouth, showing you that she has an object in her mouth implicating a penis, which means semen, genetically altering. These Christians are implying that they genetically contaminated these Muslims during that battle by this painting. This, people, is why these images and these paintings are so bizarre. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright channel. And anything that is implying genetically who we are, our being, through my paranormal experience and encounter, where these people were great for making such things and implications, I will be far more greater for describing to you why such bizarre and unusual contraptions, which make no damn sense, are even being given the level of serious and, and consideration when they should not be. I can take this and dissect it for what it truly is. And this is why I can take an unrelating scenario and bring it to you and show you what is going on. And also people I want to describe to you that these artists 
artists that came before Leonardo da Vinci, artists that came after Leonardo da Vinci, they used the ideas of those that came before. And then they take and incorporate their own and put their own little twist and their own little spin on it. However, I've discovered things from the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, coming forward to Leonardo da Vinci's time. This is what makes Leonardo da Vinci work like child's play to me because I understand what came before all of this. And not only that, before there was even a record of it, through my genuine paranormal experience and encounter, I can take us back before that. And this is the reason why I can take this stuff, people, and throw it back at them for what it truly is. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. Well, it used to be my Jeronification channel. My Jerome Wright channel here on YouTube. I hope that you appreciate this video. And as I always say, people, I do not have no end. And it is no telling what I would bring to you next. Keep watching. I appreciate your support. You come out better to have ladders with such a device on me with created right there on this on location. Now, again, the, the device could be assembled or whatever, taken apart and assembled on the spot and then pushed up to the wall. But then and again, we still have this thing, this scenario where the device is impractical because we would like to think that no castles surrounding terrain or landscape will permit such a device to, to square up with the castle wall as it is being described here. It just doesn't seem practical. All right. Um, now I'm going to leave you with that thought. So what is this device? What is Da Vinci this designing one? Well, it's my position that Leonardo Da Vinci has created this device or the drawing with this device in it. And he's calling it a seize machine based on what we see here. See, it's my position that Leonardo da Vinci, I've linked him to um, an ancient um, like process, which actually calls for the genetic alter and genetic bane of mankind, um, of war against any given scenario. Um, we all know that first of all, first and foremost, that it would be very unlikely that a creator or designer of such a device would be able to assume or have height based on this device opening up and going onto a castle wall of a castle that we're that they're going to allegedly get to. For, for the most part, when I like to think of castles, I like to think of an uneven and um and a gauntlet like landscape which would prevent or prevail such a device from even getting up close enough to the wall. Um then the height of the wall. I mean, you would actually have to know exactly where this device was going to be set up at, at which wall it was going to be set up, and the exact height in getting there. The device in itself, it just seems impractical. Now, let's talk to Jerome Wright here. And um, once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be um, showing you some very interesting things about Leonardo da Vinci supposed invention, the siege machine. And um, the reason why I say supposed invention is because after I'm done with this video, <clears throat> hopefully you will agree with me that this machine, our supposed machine, is an impractical device. It makes absolutely no sense for a genius mind like Leonardo to um, to envision to be utilized in the field of that of battle. Uh, not just I'm gonna I'm just gonna point out some obvious and logical things about this first before I get into describing what this machine is actually um, 
insinuating in this drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. First of all, let's assume that such a a device or invention were utilized in the field of talk about the device getting there. And I'm, I'm you know, I mean, that's just one thing with the height. That's that's one thing that that makes this device seems impractical. And then just the terrain from which this device has to go to to get up to the wall. It's just it's it's impractical. It's not logical at all. Okay. Now. Let's go with this device being transported in the upright position. Again, you're looking at the longer part of this elevation, which would make this device top heavy, okay? And going down, being pulled down, would I mean, it, it, it just didn't make no sense. Going through trees or going through anywhere, having this device elevated back to its upright position, you will be talking if you have a wall that will be 10 to 15 feet high, okay, on a castle, just assuming, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just theorizing. So now you have this device at 10 feet. So you're talking about a device maybe 30 feet, maybe even higher up in the air being pulled down the terrain from where it was created at to here. So you're saying, well, maybe it was wrong in two parts. Well, we can maybe this, that, and a third and all, but the device just seems impractical. To, um, to be taken out onto a battle. And see, I know that it involves animals and creatures that cause for our genetic altering and, all, and being. And it involves kingships and queenships and variant animals. Well, along with, um, also let me include ancient rooted um, religion, okay? And, it, and animals, and it describes how we were genetically bridged over. So, I'm describing this here part as being a bridge, a genetic bridge that allows what is described here as a genetic gateway, a genetic bridge to go and genetically alter ancient rooted genetics, which are here, procured here, in ancient rooted kingship and queenship royalty. So what is being described as being altered? Well, Da Vinci leaves this part of the machine open and you're looking at the devices and all of that in there, the, 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 the cranks and all of that. But if you look closely, there's a cow-like creature here. And there's other things that I actually see that signifies to me. 